Hi everyone, it's Andrea here, and before we get started on a week of book madness with Booktubeathon, I'm going to talk about this book. So this is The Before Now and After Then by Peter Mon. As you know, Peter Mon is a fellow booktuber. He goes under the name Peter Likes Books. I'm going to link his channel down below and also put a link to his Goodreads page on here as well. The reason being is that if you want to check out his book, his reviews, or just, you know, generally watch his videos, why not? I would subscribe to him if I were you, as he is a really funny booktuber. So, right. Now, obviously, because I know Peter uh, from booktube, I was a bit worried about reading this first because I thought, oh, what if I don't like it? I wouldn't want to upset him, um, but I would always give him an honest review. So basically, this book is about the following. Danny Goldstein has always lived in the shadow of his identical twin brother, Sam. But when a hurricane of events forces him into the spotlight, he starts to realise that the only thing he's truly afraid of is himself. With the help of his costume-changing friend Cher, a famous gay uncle with a mysterious past of his own, and two ageing punk rocker parents, and Rusty, the boy who will become his something to live for, Danny begins to realise that the music of the heart is truly a soundtrack for living. So, we've got Danny and Rusty, who meet after... Um, Danny moves to a different school because his mother moves house because basically anybody who's read any of the reviews, his brother dies. And so he's left on his own. So he goes to a new school and he meets Rusty and he meets Cher. Now he's picked on by obviously gay haters who hasn't been picked on. Even, I mean I was picked on at school and there was no reason for it and there's no reason for anyone to pick on Danny, he's just a nice guy. People, bullies pick on people because they're easy targets and sadly Danny, like myself, is obviously an easy target. This book is really about finding yourself, finding who you are, finding your own identity because for too long he's been in the shadow of his cooler brother or what he thought was his cooler brother Sam. Um, and this is how he finds himself. He meets Rusty who and falls in love with him at first sight as he does and it's so it's a story about love at first sight so some people have said they don't like that they don't believe in love at first sight I don't know what's wrong with them because I totally believe in love at first sight I've been you know I've experienced love at first sight and it's about friendship to me this is a book about above all first love and falling in love for the very first time which is what Danny does in this book it's beautifully written it really is. And there are excerpts in it that I actually recognise that Peter's told us about his own life on his booktube channel. So, you know, like most writers, they write from their own lives and, and clearly Peter, Peter has in this. It, I mean, I can't tell you how, well, how much it affected me. It really did. I loved it so much that... You know when you fall in love for the first time or when you're head over heels and your heart races and it feels so painful and it oh it's like adrenaline pumping through your body constantly I was reading this in bed yesterday morning and I could feel that heartache that pain that longing that first love gives you and whereas before I would want to forget that and try and get rid of that pain I just lay there and relished in it um, because it reminded me of how I felt the first time I felt in fell in love and literally made me feel like how I felt the first time I found it up. And it was just so beautiful. There were points where I was I was in tears. There were tears streaming down my face. I was reading this in the bedroom and, and I woke up early and I was reading a few chapters and I, I, I was crying and I was trying to go back to sleep and, and the pillow was soaking wet. And But there were tears of happiness and sadness and just, it, it really is a beautiful book. The, the design is gorgeous as well with the cassettes because um, Rusty makes him a mixtape and a lot of oh, lights gone <laughs> a lot of the songs are, are, are songs I know so it's a really beautiful book it's one it's definitely one of my top books of two that I've read this year it came out two years ago in 2014 but for me it's one of the best books I've read in 2016 it's got it's although I haven't updated my Goodreads because I didn't want Peter to see it before I put up the video it's a five out of five stars for me and the only thing I've got to say is, Peter, where's your next book? Come on, I want to read the next one. Now, come on, get writing. I want to read what you've got to say next because 
it was just beautiful. I, I really enjoyed it. So that's one of my recommendations, absolutely. I will be recommending this to my friend Julie. Um, she's one of my best friends at work. We recommend books all the time. I'm gonna lend her this one and Drag Team because I know she's gonna enjoy both of them. So yes, definitely one, pick it up please. If you haven't read it, do read it. It's, it's just beautifully written. Such a beautiful story. Um, yeah, I loved it. They all find out lots of different things about themselves, about their families, about their histories, and about the, what they want from life. And, and yeah, it was great. I mean, it reminded me what I was like when I was a teenager and those feelings came back and yeah, definitely go and read it. So, okay, I've, uh, I've recommended that uh, a lot, enough for now. I'm sure I'll be recommending it again when I do my uh, end of July wrap up. Um, but now, on to Booktube. booktube a starts tomorrow, yay! I cannot wait to get started on this, it's going to be so much fun. Um, so I'm on a late shift this week, so I start at 10 and I finish at 6pm. Uh, so I tend to start reading in the morning when I get up. I will then be going to my swim. So I'll be going for swimming for an hour or so. And then I will be doing a, because I hope to have pretty much read the most of my first book by the time I get back from swimming. And so I'll probably do a, a day one wrap up. And if I don't do it, then I'll, I will definitely do it on Tuesday when I'm, I'm not going swimming. So I can't wait to get started on booktube. Can't wait to see what you're reading. But that's all for me for now. Bye.